This is Streamline News for Thursday, December 9th, 2010, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Terry McKeever and Greg Troy were named head coaches of the 2012 U.S. Olympic swim teams yesterday in a press conference held by USA Swimming. For McKeever, this appointment is a milestone. She's the first female to be named head coach in the United States and, we believe, in the history of Olympic swimming for any country. In addition to leading a group of 26 or so women to Olympic glory, she'll likely have personal swimmers to coach, including Natalie Coughlin, Dana Vollmer, and Caitlin Leverance. Greg Troy will obviously have his hands full with Ryan Lochte in London, but Troy said in the press conference yesterday that he's looking forward to working with coaches of potential Olympians in the next year to make sure he knows how to coach them when the Olympic team is selected. McKeever and Troy will not pick their assistant coaches until the completion of the 2012 Olympic trials. Moving on to diving, Tom Gomp will receive the prestigious George M. Steinbrenner III Sports Leadership Award tonight at a ceremony in New York City. The annual award goes to someone who has shown qualities of leadership, ethical conduct, and dedicated responsibility through their commitment to sport. In his long association with diving that began as an athlete, Gomp was president of USA Diving and United States Aquatic Sports and was on the United States Olympic Committee's board of directors. Gomp has been a part of 10 Olympic Games, starting with his bronze medal performance in 1964 and continuing as manager, judge, and official. Many believe he was responsible for bringing synchronized diving into the Olympics in 2000. Lauren Wilkinson's recent return to competitive diving appears to be short-lived. She announced on Facebook yesterday that she and her husband, Eric Hulselman, are expecting a baby girl in the spring. Wilkinson had competed at the USA Diving Summer Nationals with the intent of qualifying for the USA national team. And we at Swimming World wish Laura and her family the best. Back to swimming news, Taewon Park was richly rewarded for his gold medal swims at the Asian Games this week. Here's a photo of him posing with his K Kia K7 at the car company's headquarters in Seoul. In addition to the new car, Park received a bonus of about $30,000 for the three gold medals and one silver medal he won at the Asian Games. Yesterday afternoon, Scottsdale Aquatic Club had a special guest participate in their workout. Lance Armstrong was in town for sponsorship commitments and had some time to crank out 5,200 yards with the age group team. The main set consisted of nine 300 freestyle on four minutes with every third one fast. Armstrong proved he's as efficient in the water as he is on the bike, holding 301, 303, and 303 on the fast swims. I've had the honor of seeing Armstrong in the pool before he became a household name, and I can vouch for his swimming prowess. And who knows, we might just see him at a future Masters meet. That's going to do it for Streamline News today. Thanks for watching.